Teresa here. Growing up, one of the highest compliments that I could receive was the fact that I was a hard worker or a good worker. Now, in my husband's family, their highest compliment is that they're a good eater. That's how they show their love. But that is a topic for a different video. This one, let's talk about what being a good worker meant. It meant that I was working a lot of hours and I was putting a lot of time in perfecting my craft, whatever that may have been. It's not the same way anymore. Working long hours doesn't necessarily mean that you're a good worker. It just means that you're working long hours many times. I'm reading right now The Now Habit by Neil Fiore. And in here, he makes a connection between having guilt-free play and how that reduces procrastination. Because if you're feeling guilty about always needing to work, having to work, wanting to work, then you'll tend to procrastinate more. Whereas if you use guilt-free play as that reward, then you tend to not procrastinate because you're not looking at it as I have to spend 20 hours working really hard and I have to close myself out from my friends and my family and everyone I know and I can't go do anything fun. Instead, what you're saying is get a couple hours of you know, diligent work in, focused work in, and then I can go have dinner with friends or I can go hang out and do X, Y, or Z. And so you can take that same habit and that same uh, philosophy and make it easier to get things done, the important things done. So recently um, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine and she was sharing how her daughter had a whole day of studying that she needed to do on the weekend and she was kind of bummed about it. And so what they did was they worked out this reward system. She would work for an hour and then at the end of the hour she'd go outside for 10 minutes and do vigorous activity to get her blood pumping again and then she'd come in and she'd work on this craft project that she had going. And then at the end of that a lot of time she'd go back and she'd study for an hour and she'd go from there. Now if a 15 year old kid can figure this out, so can you. <laughs> Just figure out your way of connecting diligent, focused, hard work, not long work, but diligent, focused work with the appropriate reward system to keep you going along the way. Being able to overcome procrastination is just one way that you can increase your productivity. The goal here is that you have more time to do the things that you love. And so with that in mind, I invite you to take this 10 question, two minute quiz. Just click right there on the link below. This will help you identify the places where you're really strong and where you're not so strong when it comes to the area of time management and productivity. So click here, take the quiz and get ready to get some of your freedom back.